In this video, we are going to cover a topic which you can implement in any kind of application or in any particular form, that is exception handling. When you are writing a code and once your program is successfully compiled, your application will be able to run by that particular time. But if it is running and any time it may cause any runtime error. Maybe the memory of the system got ran out or the, there may be some network problem or maybe there could be any internal issue which may cause the error at runtime. So here the runtime errors which we are getting are actually called the exceptions. So basically we will not be able to remove those exceptions at some times but obviously if they are coming we can handle them because if we don't handle that our program will get terminated abnormally and they, this may not give a good impact to the end user. So that's why exception handling is a very important topic as far as the software development is concerned. While implementing this exception handling we will use try, catch, finally and throws keyword for making a complete exception handling. And in .NET framework, you will get a number of exception classes which will allow you to handle almost all types of exception that you may get in your application development. And system.exception is a base class of all those exceptions. That is, this is the base class means all the exceptions are derived from this class itself. So let's get started with the exception handling implementation. Okay, so here I have designed a form which will be taking a couple of numbers like first number and second number and I will divide the first number by the second number as soon as I click on this result button. And the result will be displayed in this label right here. So let's see how I can do the code. For that let's double click on the button and inside this I have defined a couple of variables like int num1 and num2 where I am taking the value from these text boxes after converting them to the integer and then int result is equal to num1 divided by num2 and we will put that in the label 3 dot text alright so let's execute this let's say 45 5 I'll click on result I got 9 similarly 48 divided by 4 it's 12 so it is working fine but as we know like as soon as I will put 0 in the second number the program will not be giving any result because here I got an exception called divide by 0 exception so in order to handle that let's put a try block here inside this I will put the complete code whichever I have done so far and after that a catch that will be in action as soon as I will get any exception so here try is having the code while catch is handling the exception and here inside what I'll see I'll do is label 3 dot text is equal to cannot divide by 0 that's a simple message so let's see now all right as expected I got this exception handled and it is saying cannot divide by 0 when you don't pass anything here in the cache block that simply means you are using the base class that is exception whether you use it or not but yes it will by default be this exception class which is the base class for all the exceptions in the .NET framework now let's execute this form again and not what I'll do is 4.5 divided by 3 and again I got the same exception cannot divide by 0 but I am not doing that so what's the reason the reason is I am using in dot parse and that integer dot parse is unable to convert this decimal number into integer so at again there is an exception and here what I am getting is cannot divide by exception because this is the only message I have given so rather than doing that what I can do is I can put an instance for this exception called ex and here I can use it like ex dot message alright so let's execute it again and here if I'll say 4.5 divided by 3 input string was not in a correct format 
50 divided by 0 attempted to divide by 0 all right now I am getting a proper message but maybe in a bit uneasy language maybe user is not comfortable like if I'll say 0 4.5 divided by 3 input string was not in a correct format if a user is non technical he may not have an idea about this string and he may think like 4.5 I know where I have entered a string so why it is telling me about this string or maybe anything like that so in order to give your own messages what's a better idea is put the multiple catch blocks for all the exceptions that you can guess like first of all I'll say divide by zero exception and whenever this exception will come alright I can remove this ex as well I'm not using that another catch for format exception please enter only non decimal numbers but the question is like how come we come how come we'll know like which exception we need to put so what you can do you can put this exception ex along with the message you can also get the exception type by calling get type so I will simply concatenate that like this and let's execute it again so as soon as you will put any decimal number please enter only non decimal numbers as soon as you will divide it with zero cannot divide by zero but if there is any other exception apart from these two like for example I entered a very big number which cannot be taken by an integer so now it is an another exception like system dot overflow exception from here you can get the name of the class value was either too large or too small for an int32 so this is how we can handle the exceptions now let's take one more scenario where I will convert all the integers to the float so that I can handle the decimal values as well okay so now here I will say please enter only numbers because now I can take decimal numbers also after putting the float if I will start putting the zero in the second number I will not get any exception rather I will get the value called infinity as you may have learned in the mathematics but infinity is something using which I cannot do any operation like I cannot add any number to infinity I cannot divide any number with infinity because everything will be unknown so in that scenario what I will take is I want to get the exception in that because this value is of no use and I want this exception to be raised I want to raise the exception forcefully so for that what I can do is I can simply put a condition like if num2 is equal to 0 throw new divide by 0 exception so actually using this throw keyword you can raise the exception explicitly so let's execute it again and now the exception got raised and I got the message again you can also put this finally block when you want something after this particular code block must be executed because in case if you will put it without finally and you will undergo some unhandled exception then that particular set of statements will not work but if they are inside finally so doesn't matter whether the exception is handled or not that block will get executed anything inside finally but in our case there will be no exception unhandled because at last we are putting the exception class that is the base class which will handle all the exceptions so this is how you can work with your exception handling